Welcome back. Our next guest is an incredibly talented actress, singer, and now children's book author. Please welcome the gorgeous Cynthia Erivo. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, hi. Thank you for having me today. You look stunning. Thank you for joining us. Thank okay, you. <laughs> first off, Cynthia, we yes. have to first talk about how gorgeous you looked at the 2021 Emmy Awards. I mean, Woo! beautiful <laughs> fashion, you. baby. Thank so, you. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you are one Oscar away from being an EGOT winner. How yeah. does it feel to be like this close to such an exclusive <laughs> club? It feels pretty wild. Um, you know, it, it, I didn't know that um, when I first got here, I, I really just came to do a, a, a musical. So for me to be in this place right now, that close to the coveted EGOT um, is really uh, incredible because uh, I just wanted to to be on a Broadway stage for a little bit and and now I get to do film and TV and all those wonderful things and uh, it's it's wonderful to be able to be celebrated like that. So wow, wow! And your work ethic clearly stands apart from anybody else. I mean, so much so that Oprah even noted on it. She actually, I heard, gave you a bit of advice. She told you that you should be able to say no sometimes. Yes. So yes, what, yes. This is how right it towards the beginning. Yeah. I mean, she, she. I got an email from her just randomly one day that said that uh, she noticed that I was going to be going to a, a few events, and she said she noticed that because she was also invited to those, to those events, and she um, said no, and she said that I should also say no sometimes. Wow. Um, and it really, it actually really helped because you sort of run on this. A uh, strange idea that if you don't say no, uh, nothing else will come right. and you will run out. But actually, uh, I've learned now that saying no to certain things, all the no's that you are given often make room for the yeses to come. Amen um, to that. Yes, that is brilliant. Yeah. I believe in that. Um, okay, yeah. so now, on top of everything else, you have your new album, Chapter yeah. 1, Verse 1. I yeah. want to know, how does it feel to finally have your own music out there? Really wonderful. Um, it just, it, it's an amazing feeling to be able to start, you know, sharing my, my own personal stories with people and singing the songs that I've written and the melodies that I've created for, for others to hear. It's, it's amazing. It's a dream come true. I've really wanted this for a long time. Yeah. Okay, so one of your singles is called Glowing Up. Do you feel like you are in your glow up season right now? Looks like I it. I do. I do, but I think it's been a, a, a long process. And I think the, the song for me is more about the, the growth from where I was to where I am and to where I've been. Um, because if you would have told me 10 years ago that this is where I would be, that I'd be one award away from an ego, that I would be doing film, that I would be traveling the world, that I would be wearing the, the, the designers that I love, that I'd be speaking to those designers, that I'd be meeting people that are wonderful, that I'd be able to share my art with people the way I want to, that I could connect with people this way. I would have said, I'm not sure that, that all of that would <laughs> right, happen right, at that time. Right. Um, and so to be here experiencing it is really, really special. So that, that song really is about that. And so I do feel like this is my glow up season, but I think that the glow up season changes and there's always room for more glow. Well, your glow up season also has you writing children's books because yes. you're releasing <laughs> one that's called Remember to Dream, Abire. Tell us what yeah. this book means. What does it mean for you? Uh, it, it means that I get the chance to share with young people and anyone who reads it really, uh, the, the idea that dreams, all dreams are valid and that the best way to uh, experience your dream is to to put all the detail you can possibly put into it um, into it. It's a uh, it's a really close story to me because it's how I live. Mm -hmm. It's how I've lived. Um, it's sort of an homage to my mother and my sister because those characters kind of feel like both of them. It's like an amalgamation of all of us. Um, and and I re was really able to sort of put my all into it, my spirit, my heart into it, and I got to choose everything that happened with it. I wrote it myself, so it really felt, it really feels like a um, a love letter to anyone who who dreams. Oh, yeah, so good. Yeah, um, uh, mm -hmm. Cynthia. Well, we got to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to get to know you even more with a fun game. Stick around. This is the real. Guys, we're still chatting with the multi-talented. Cynthia Arrivo. <laughs> Cynthia, since this is your first time here, we thought that we could really have some fun getting to know you. So it's okay. time to put you to the test. But it's a fun test, okay? So don't worry. More like <laughs> a quiz, actually. This is called yeah. Celebrity Pop Quiz.
Okay, I'm starting off first. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ask you uh, a bunch of probing, personal, deep questions. Because we're nosy. <laughs> yes. Um, here, there is no right answer. You just have to tell us the truth and just be ready. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. My first question is, what is the biggest deal breaker for you in a relationship? Um, a deal breaker. Someone who doesn't listen. Someone who's not willing to compromise or listen. Perfect. That's yeah, yeah. definitely a good one. Now, yeah. Cynthia, do you believe in conspiracy theories? And if so, which one? Ah. I do not believe in conspiracy theories. None? I don't. No. Okay. Very, I don't Pretty know. solid Wait, and logical. No, not, no. At <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Okay. What is your favorite body part of yourself and why? Um, Favorite body part of myself, my um, my shoulders, my, my shoulders and my clavicle. Nice, Ooh, the décolleté. Yeah. I just like how they look when they when when we're in dresses and stuff like that. They they I like them a lot. Yes, yeah. especially when you put a little bit of oil to get that like yeah, yeah. yeah. a little yeah. 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 Ooh, so like yeah. yeah. I get it. <laughs> All right, you're doing so great. Here's number four. Are you currently in love? Yes. <gasps> It was quick, quick, quick. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Now, for extra credit, if you could go back in time, what would you change about your future? Nothing. I wouldn't change anything about my future because I one, I don't know what my future holds for me. That's right. Um, and if I was back, if I went back in time and had to change what I am right now, I don't know that I'd be enjoying myself as much as I was. Girl, you, you know, don't even have like awesome. a terrible tattoo that you wish you never got. <laughs> no, and I have loads of tattoos. <laughs> Loads. I wouldn't change any one of them. Either. Oh, wow. that's amazing. If you yeah. could relive a certain time in your life, mm. what would you relive? Good one. Um, what would I relive? I would relive maybe like the time from age, well, no, because that was drama school, so that's good. 20, maybe 23 to 24. Like, I, I, I would like be more fun. Okay, enjoy more it fun. more. Enjoy, enjoy it more. It more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I totally get that. The yeah. thing yeah. I love about you, though, just doing this quiz, I see how well thought out you are. Like, you seem very yeah. logical and grounded. So yeah. that obviously got you to your success, but I can understand why maybe in the 20s you're like, maybe I should have let loose a little I bit. I should have had more fun, yeah. Right. yeah. I think so. But yeah. those tattoos probably tell a different story, girl. Well, you've <laughs> yes, yes. Cynthia. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much for hanging out with us today. Thank, Thank you, you much so me. much. So Thank real you. fam, Cynthia's book, Remember to Dream, Iberé, is available today wherever books are sold. And we got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. This is The Real.